Hey guys, Tony here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the XJimmy Horizon Pro 4K LED projector. And I'd like to thank XJimmy for sending it in to me for review. There are some features on this projector that I think you'll find very impressive, especially as this projector does fall onto the budget end of the market. So in the box, we have the projector, a Bluetooth remote, which needs two AAA batteries, a decently big power brick, and a power cable, as well as the user manuals. On the back of the projector, we have the power port, an optical out, two USB ports, two HDMI ports, an ethernet port, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Taking a look at the projector itself, it's quite small for what it is, weighing in at two and a half kilograms, and is only 209 millimeters wide by 218 millimeters deep, and 136 millimeters tall, and has a stylish dark metallic chassis. There is a one quarter inch thread underneath, as you can see here, and it's perfect for hanging either from the ceiling if you wanted to hang it upside down, or you could put it onto a camera tripod, which is what I've done for this video. Moving to the specs, we have a 4K True HD resolution with 3840 by 2160, with a max supported resolution of 4096 by 2160. It uses an LED light source, which has 2200 ANSI lumens, so it is quite bright and has 25,000 hours of use. So great for extended daily usage as a television and you can get from 30 inches all the way up to 300 inches for screen real estate. While you can use the built-in OS and the apps, I do recommend using an Apple TV or a Chromecast to squeeze the best performance out of the experience. And the Horizon Pro does support HDR10 and HLG color space, meaning that you will be able to get an elevated experience, especially for watching movies. The built-in Netflix app on the Horizon Pro doesn't work, which is similar to a lot of other projectors as well, which is why I do recommend using a streaming box if you want to be able to get the most out of it. I think that this projector is designed as an all-in-one home entertainment device, which you can play games, watch TV shows or movies, and with the high brightness of 2200 ANSI lumens paired with an ALR screen, you should be able to use it in most situations. The Horizon Pro 4K has some very cool AI features, and that includes what I think is an incredible feat in technology technology and the first time I've ever experienced on a projector and that is an auto zoom, keystone and focus. You can simply find the best place in your room for the projector, aim it at the screen and let the projector find the borders of your screen, scan for any obstacles and then auto adjust the image using the mechanical and optical zoom to get it to the borders and match it perfectly. You can then use the manual keystone just to nudge it to the edges if it doesn't quite find them perfectly. I know I often say not to keystone but this projector doesn't seem to lose any sharpness at all and that has to do with the optical zoom via the built-in lenses. I think I had a little bit too much fun playing with this feature and I was very impressed with how quickly and accurately it lined the image to the screen. So for the image we have a true 4K image which can play back native 4K content with HDR support and there is the XView technology which uses the AI engine to detect the brightness of the room as well as noise reduction, color control and enhanced clarity. The image looks great in both light and dark environments, but I think that they have done a great job making it a plug and play device that will just work without a lot of manual calibration. So like in some of the other projectors I've tested, we do have MEMC or frame interpolation options on the Horizon Pro 4K to allow for any loss of frames from the source to be compensated by adding additional frames to fill in the gaps. I don't like it to be too heavy or you do get the soap opera effect, but I found that the implementation was pretty decent and I only had it on weak. There is also a gaming mode which reduces the input lag to 35 milliseconds and I will say that it's not too bad for car racing sims, but I think it is still a little bit laggy for first person shooters. I don't use a projector to game much as I'm a PC gamer, so my main focus with the Horizon Pro 4K is the movie watching performance. So as this is a bright projector, I wanted to test out the HDR performance and I will say that it is quite impressive for the specs. Unfortunately, there are not really many calibration controls, so I was unable to tweak the settings using my calibration sensor, but I do think that they have done a really good job out of the box with the color science. At least for my eyes, the reds do look pretty natural and the colors are accurate and vibrant and evenly saturated. There are a few brightness modes that you can use. You can leave it on AI mode or you can choose from the different modes to suit your environment. I found leaving it on auto was actually pretty decent. So as a home theater guy, you know that I'm gonna recommend using a discrete speaker setup, but if you don't and you wanted to use the Horizon Pro as your speakers as well, they are no slouch with two 8 watt speakers, Harman Kardon, and they do support DTS and Dolby Digital Sound. The only issue that I have with speakers inside a projector placed at the rear is that the sounds don't come from the front of the screen, but they are powerful enough for you to use as a TV if you don't have any speakers. <laughs> Thank you. 
So in my upstairs room, you can see that we have the Horizon Pro paired with an ALR screen and we have a really nice image. And this is testament to the 2200 ANSI lumens of the projector. You can still see that it is quite vibrant and colorful, even though it is rejecting some ambient light. I also like how easy it is to install. I can pretty much place the projector anywhere in the room and it will just find the screen and adjust the image to fit it without all that extra time spent trying to line it up manually. This is probably the biggest selling point of this projector. It's a very fuss free and easy to install device. I also think that even in a bright room, we do get a very nice visual performance and I like how vibrant and bright the colors are. Shifting to my dedicated room and you will see that even in a light controlled room, we have an excellent image, especially in full darkness and the black levels are actually really good. And I'm used to my Epson, which has really good black levels, especially with HDR. The HDR performance of this projector is nice as well, showing off how vibrant the image can look and from a device this small. It's packed with a lot of features that I think the average home theater enthusiast will really enjoy. If you'd like to buy one, you can check the links down in the description. It comes in at 2,500 Australian dollars or 1,699 US dollars, which is an absolute bargain, I think, considering that you're getting 4K with HDR support and all of the AI features, the auto keystoning and the focus controls. Android TV, it's all built right in. I think it's a great choice if you're after an affordable 4K projector for your home theater or living room, you can project right onto the wall. Although I do recommend that getting a screen will give you the best possible performance. I'd like to thank XJimmy for sending it in for review. And if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, make sure that you smash the like button for me and consider subscribing to see my future videos. Drop me a comment down below letting me know what you think of the XJimmy Horizon Pro 4K and whether or not you'd like to consider one for your room. I also have links to my Discord server down in the description, so feel free to join up for a chat. Anyway guys, a very big thank you for watching, but that's it for this one, you'll catch me in the next one. Bye for now.